Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When we think about this, we don't usually include the concept of God, even though the entire country and continent of America was founded on the principle of allowing people to worship the Lord Most High in any way that they felt comfortable. Whether we agree with their religious practices or their faith bob capabilities or anything like that at all in their spirituality doesn't really matter. That's our opinion and it's not our life. But what people really struggle with today is to know the true aspect of love. People can say they're in love with someone, but how did they fall in love with them? What brought about that exchange of intimacy? Was it done in the honesty and the integrity and ethics and moral standards, standards of God most high? Or was it done and born out of the flesh and the eye? You see, most people cannot understand the love of God, meaning how God, the heavenly divine mother and father of all the earth and all the creatures, great and small, loves them. And usually they can't love them and can't understand that love because a lot of people associate God with their own biological mothers and fathers and how they're treated by them. So if your father is sort of an overbearing guy, you might see God as a fire and brimstone sort of fellow. And if your mother is emotionally abusive and literally reclusive and isolates you from your family, then you might feel that maybe God is Mamby Pamby. But in life, we have moments of time to recognize Jesus' sacrifice for our lives, regardless of we are what we are in our religion title. People choose whether they're Catholic, Lutheran, Methodist, Episcopalian, Pagan, or Wiccan. But most of us across the different religious spectrums have a regard for Jesus as a philosopher, as a prophet, as a magician, and as someone who knows what everything is to people. You see, unless you understand the love of the Lord, you cannot function correctly in our American society. Unless you recognize that people have the power of will and the power of choice to either choose to draw nearer to God or walk themselves further and further away from God's houses. People usually leave churches because of poor leadership and poor legacy and poor relationships. And they tend to leave God in those moments too. But the love of God for our individual lives is pretty profoundly stated in most of the books around the world about God, that God loves us unconditionally. And when we're faced with an individual who loves us unconditionally, we often take them for granted. We often don't want to believe it. We also can't conceive it. So we prefer to hang with people that actually debase us, disgrace us, and humiliate us over the course of time. What was your goal when you started your adult life? Where were you headed with Jesus' help? And how did you get off track in life if you didn't have a player or a stayer with your life? And if you took on someone else's relationship because maybe they were losing someone or someone's literally dying, are you doing the will of the Lord or are you taking advantage of a moment in time?